Hey, big sis. How's it going? It's Anna. What is it, Anna? It's not like you to message me. What happened? Hey, so get this. I got a job at T-Bank. That's right. The ultra-competitive T-Bank. Not only that, but I'll be working at HQ from day one. Amazing, right? Oh, really? Congrats. We all went out at a luxury French restaurant to celebrate yesterday. Mom bought me a super expensive designer one piece, and Dad bought me a diamond necklace worth over $4,000. As a well done for getting my first proper job. Isn't it amazing? They bought you clothes and accessories again? Don't you already have enough to fill your entire room? Plus, enough to take full occupation of my old room, too? It's all good. We are celebrating, lol. Hey, wait. You're not jealous, are you? Oh, that's right. No one ever celebrated for you like this, huh? <laughs> you are a loser who could only get a job at some pathetic small fry company after all. <laughs> huh? Who's a loser? Well, I mean, you are, right? Lol. You never studied when we were growing up. Went to a third-rate high school, third-rate university, and wasted all your time on stupid stuff. You turned your nose up at every single company mom got you introductions for. Then ended up at a company so third-rate, no, fourth-rate, that I don't even know what they do. Despite being the oldest daughter, you left home straight away. You're the worst of the worst kind of loser, with no respect for your parents. You're the shame of our family. Oh, why do I need to hear this from you? It's true, my grades back in school weren't exactly amazing. But it's not like I didn't have my own interests. And I worked on them in high school and university as much as I could. I only turned down the companies mom got me introductions for because I wanted to land a job on my own merits. And it's not that you don't know what my company does. You just don't understand it. I told you it's a video production company, didn't I? Nothing but excuses, LMAO. This is why mom and dad say you're hard to love. I, unlike you, have had impeccable grades ever since kindergarten. I was the top of my elementary school, junior high, and high school. Got into a good university and got into the company dad recommended me with flying colors. Mom and dad are always spoiling me because I'm such a wonderful daughter. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it a thousand times already. Mom and dad said they've got no need for a daughter like you. They said they wished I was their only daughter. They actually looked kind of pleased when you left home, lol. They said we finally get to live with just our real family. <laughs> Oh, I see. It means nothing to me after all this time. That you're all awful people isn't exactly news to me. Oh, looks like someone's a little bitter. If you don't fix your attitude soon, you really won't be part of our family anymore. Just the other day, Mom said, maybe we should cut all ties with her. I don't need a pea-brained loser of a big sister like you. So she's got my vote. You're free to do as you please. I'm hardly gonna come crying to beg. Aww, putting on a brave front, you poor thing. Just make sure you keep sending us money, okay? I mean, of course, it doesn't even amount to a single piece of my clothing. I'm a genius, so I'll be on the higher salary than you before long. So, it's not like we need it. But if you don't show any kind of gratitude to mom and dad, they'll forget you completely exist. I'll carry on sending the money. You don't need to tell me. But make no mistake, the reason I'm sending money is because they gave me an allowance until high school. And it's to pay that back. It's not out of any positive feelings towards any of you. Cool, whatever. Oh, looks like it's time! I'm going out with mom and dad to pick a brand new suit now. Lol. It's a major bank, so I've gotta look the part. Not like your company, which is more just an extension of your hobbies. See ya, sis!
It's been a while. It's your mother. Do you have a minute? Mom? Huh. Is it really you or a scammer? A scammer? What? Just a few years after rushing out of the house. And you've already forgotten your mother? No, I know you gave me your line ID. But you haven't messaged me a single time until now. So, I just found it a tad suspicious. Anyway, what is it? It's about the money you've been sending. We'd like you to start sending us a little more. What? Why? Well, you see... Anna left T-Bank two months ago. What? Already? Didn't she only just start there? Apparently, her and her boss didn't see eye to eye. And she was given a severe dressing down in front of everyone. Even though all she did was borrow a little money from their safe. Because she didn't have enough money to go shopping. Come on, surely that's completely unacceptable? That's the worst thing a bank employee could do. If anything, her boss was too kind for not taking it any further than telling her off. But did he really have to make an example of her by doing it in front of everyone? Oh, that poor girl. She was so embarrassed that she punched him. It got difficult for her to be there after that. Her hand must have really hurt. The poor thing. Surely, this is 100% Anna's fault? Not only did she steal, but to get violence with her boss? You said she left, but by any chance did she get fired? No! I called and told them Anna would no longer be working there. Major Bank or not, I won't have my Anna work anywhere where her boss upsets her. She did look for another job, but no company is willing to give her the time of day, and she didn't get anywhere. Now she said she needs to recuperate because she's upset, and she's always locked in her room. So, um, is she a neat then? Watch what you say! Don't be ridiculous! She's just upset after having a grown man yell at her for the first time. She'll make her return to society when she's done recuperating. Because no matter how you look at it, Anna's a genius. She's not like other people. <sighs> I guess I knew that already. But why does this mean I have to send you more money? You've been able to get by just fine until now without paying any mind to my contributions. Surely nothing would change if I sent you more. According to Anna, the money I send doesn't even amount to a single piece of her clothing, lol. About that, your father collapsed. What? Last week, after he woke up, he collapsed by the side of the bed. He even had a stroke! He's still in the hospital now. He still can't move the right side of his body. It doesn't seem like he'll be able to carry on working. What? This is the first I've heard of it! Why didn't you tell me? Why? We had no reason to tell you. If you came home, you'd just be an inconvenience. What? Why? The point is, your father can't work anymore. It does look like he'll be able to get his pension, and I'm working part-time. But we're still not quite making ends meet. At this rate... We won't be able to buy Anna clothes like we used to. We only ask you to help us until Anna finds another job and our finances become stable again. Please send us more money. Help your darling little sister. Even a half wits like you can do that, right? I'm cutting you out of my life. What? Somehow, I've tolerated you until now, but I've reached my limit. I won't be sending you any more money, and I'll never come back to the house again. You can think of me as no longer existing. What are you saying? You can't stop sending us money! I won't allow it! I was kind enough to bring you into this world, and you repay me by going to a below-average school and working a subpar job? The least you can do is show some gratitude by sending me money! Look how quickly you are to treat me like an incompetent ingrate. I'm fully independent with a job and a salary. And as for money, I was sending it. I'm living life with my feet firmly planted on the ground. 
but little different to Anna who turned into a rotting neat because she thought she was better than the world. After living like a princess with her every whim and desire catered to, why am I the one who's treated like an incompetent fool and forced to play the burden? I don't get up and go to work in the morning so Anna has more money to waste. Don't you think coming begging to me after treating me like a complete moron all these years is just a little bit selfish? Don't be so rude! How dare you speak to your mother like that! You can't call me an idiot. I might not be the most intelligent, but I'm damn sure not stupid enough to blindly obey your absurd requests. Requests you make despite not even thinking of me as family. I don't need anyone who treats me like that in my life. What? No! Just wait a moment! Are you being serious about breaking things off? I just said so, didn't I? In fact, wouldn't it be perfect for you? You said you wanted to cut ties with me, right, Mom? I've never even thought of such a thing! Liar. Anna told me what you said about being with your real family when I moved out. Apparently, you were over the moon. No, that's... You've got it all wrong! In any case, you didn't tell me my dad collapsed. You never even asked me if I was okay, have you? Whether I'm around or not makes no difference to you. That's not true! You're my precious daughter! I apologize for everything I've done. It won't happen again. Please forgive me! You're the only person I can rely on now! Once our finances stabilize again, I'll buy you whatever you want! Whether it's clothes, accessories, a car, anything! I'll buy you the same things we buy Anna! Please, just help us! I don't need anything from you. You can think of it as your punishment for raising such a domineering bitch queen of a daughter. But whether you give up or lose everything, or work yourselves to exhaustion desperately trying to scrape a living together, I'm cutting all ties with you. But hey, at least you can get through it as a family. Good luck! Don't say things like that! Emily, please! Oh, did you finally remember my name? I thought you'd forgotten in the few years since I left. Anyway, too little too late. Goodbye, ex-mother. Even after several years had passed, Anna still refused to look for work, even once. Citing being too good to be pushed around by people as her reason. She degenerated into a full-blown neat shut-in, and got addicted to an expensive mobile game. Apparently, she survives by eating through mom's part-time job wages and dad's pension. My dad developed dementia as a result of the stress caused by not being able to move in the right side of his body. And he started getting violent with my mom after she became his carer. My mom's completely exhausted from the stress of working a job she's not used to. Having to care for my dad and Anna refusing to look for work. They're holding out somehow or other for the time being, but I think the family will probably end up in complete ruin before long. I blocked Anna and my mom's numbers. And just to be on the safe side, got a new phone and moved into an apartment near work. The apartment's pet-friendly, so I adopted a kitten in need of a foster parent from a friend. I'm enjoying a happy, fulfilling life with my beloved cat while giving it my best at work. If they instilled some discipline into Anna and not spoiled her so much, they would have probably had happy lives too. Anna and my parents are so pitiable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.